Hello and welcome everyone. This is Type V3 and the Robotic Seas member has finally awakened to the wild card. This is Figma Igis, the heavily equipped version, and she's much more than just a retool of the original figure. Upon first glance, it may seem as if not a whole lot differentiates this Igis from the initial Figma. For the most part, this is true as the core body remains unchanged with only the additions of a combat vest and metal visor exclusive to this version. However, these new pieces are certainly spectacular. The vest has great depth and multi-layered effect to it. The line pockets and straps are sharp, and the little rivets on her silvery visor came out clean. Also, despite the extra bulk, none of our articulation is limited or hindered in any form. Yet for all these great aesthetic details, strangely, they don't seem to take away from the rest of the figure. And the reasoning for this is revealed when compared to the original release. This Igis has been given a newer paint scheme to complement the higher quality of her added armaments. Her suit is slightly brighter, her hair is a little more vibrant, and the gold sections hugely benefit from a much cleaner finish. It's all fantastic and makes me long for a re-release of the first Figma Igis with these improvements. Heavily equipped Igis comes with three different facial expressions. First is her neutral face. Second is a calming smile that glances to the left. And third is an angry look glaring to the right. I'm disappointed that two of the three faces have her staring off in a direction, but thankfully Max Factory have offered a solution to this a second fringe piece with the visor lowered. I was completely taken aback by the inclusion of this accessory, since there's never been any fiction that depicts Igis in this state. Of course, I'm probably the only person who cares enough about this fact. As for the other accessories included, well, like the first version, she comes with an identical set of hands on her hand rack. Nevertheless, this Igis manages to pull out one key difference. The bullet fingers now are accompanied by effect parts. In truth, these are very simple and won't impress many collectors, but personally, I do find they complete the look. Another accessory Igis comes with is her hand cannon. The weapon looks great, and I've got no issues with it physically, but its implementation is rather crude. It involves that you rip out her forearm to attach it. My concern here is that over time, I worry the socket in Igis' arm may get loose over time. As a final bonus, all these accessories, including the faces, are completely compatible with the standard Figma Igis. While I probably won't be taking advantage of these features very often, it's nice to know that the option is available should I choose to pursue it. If I could only have one Figma Igis, it would be this, heavily equipped version. It offers all the joy of the original, and then simply outclasses it with its extra additions. While I do still favor Igis's more classic look, I can't deny that this is the better overall package. Despite that, recommending this Figma remains quite tricky. Heavily equipped Igis was exclusive to Wonder Festival 2011, and any means of procuring her had to be done at the convention or through the use of middleman services. Thus, Igis has ended up quite pricey and costs more than double than that of your standard Figma. And I'll be honest, for all my praise, she isn't twice as good as the original release. This figure is solely for hardcore Persona 3 fans or Figma completists, but is an easy pass for casual collectors. Anyways, this has been Type V3. Thanks for watching, and for the longest time, I thought that this would be the ultimate version of Igis. But I couldn't be more wrong.